morning. Good morning. There's that squirrel in the garden again. Hmm. Tea's in the pot. Thanks. So what are you reading? Ah, uh, news. So what's in the news? Same as usual. I better be off. How was your run? Yeah, it's fine. I'll see you later. Yeah. Oh, don't forget we're going out tonight. Yeah, sure. I hadn't forgotten. Okay. Come on, we're supposed to be going out. Yeah, I know, I know. I well, can get away and then there was the traffic. Okay, well we need to leave now. Just give me five minutes to change. How do I look? Fabulous. Now, come on, we need to go. Well, let me just brush my hair. Do it in the car. You did it again. You did it again. But don't blame this one on me. <sighs> You're pissed. Why do you want to go there if you hate it? Well, I thought we'd have fun. I thought you were fun. But, but we'd never go anywhere. We went out tonight. To the same pub, with the same people. And guess what? Yeah, the same. You wanted to go out. You said you wanted to go out. But not there. Not again. And not with them. Where are we supposed to go? Do you want to go to the bull? Get drunk with the rugby crowd? I don't, I, I, I don't know. Well then, what do you want? Anything. We had plans, didn't we? You said that we'd go abroad. We went abroad. And we know how that worked out. You can't get pissed on Koh Panyang for the rest of your life. You have to earn a living. You call this a living? We, we barely exist. We have a nice house. We have a plan for the future. The future? When we're old and grey and looking back on nights like these. I want to live life now. Your trouble is you're spoiled. Spoiled? And who spoils me? Not you. I mean, you couldn't even afford to buy a round tonight. The machine wasn't working. You'd said it'd happened before. It was humiliating. Right. I'm sorry. And stop apologising. Well, why are you always apologising? Sorry. Greg always has to bail you out. Oh, Greg. Your eyes light up when he walks in the room. Well, at least he has some energy, some life in him. How did I get stuck with a loser like you? He hasn't had to live with you a years on end, has he? Hasn't had all the life and the dreams sucked out of him. Well, that's a horrible thing to say. It's true, Jessica. It's same thing every bloody weekend. Well, you could talk. You couldn't keep your eyes off Trish tonight. I admired her hair. That's all. That's not all, and you know it. I saw the way you two looked at each other. Ah, so I looked at her. I look at everyone when I'm speaking to them. You don't look at me. I'm looking at you now. Well, that's not what I mean. You know she slept with Frank? What? Didn't know that, did you? You thought you two still had a spark. She's a slut and you are another mug. There's no need to insult our friends. Friends. I can read her like a book. She's been a really good friend to you. She didn't hear what she said to me. What did she say? Lots of things. What did she say? It's not what she said, it's what she meant. You just wouldn't understand. She does everything she can to put me down. It's the way she looks at me, as if, as if I'm dirt. You imagine things. Imagine things. Yeah, I suppose I imagined you and Sarah. That was years ago. We weren't even married. We weren't even a couple. We were, as far as I was concerned. We've been over this a hundred times. You didn't even care. I didn't know. You should have known. Well, you should have said something. Couldn't talk about it. Yeah, you waited until we were married. And that is so unfair. Sometimes I think you imagined that too. Imagined it. 
How can I imagine it? God, I was in hospital. How can you say that? Do you know, you're a spiteful shit. And uh, what's more, you're a bloody boar and I wish I'd never married you. This is my house. I'm going to bed and in the morning I want you gone. Sun's trying to come out. Might be nice later on. We could go to the garden centre. If you like. Tea's in the pot. 